Pat! Hey. Hey. Hi, beautiful. Wow. It's kind of weird having him here, you know? I mean, weird, you know, in a good way. Oh, it's unbelievable. I can't stop staring at him. Spike in his room? Yeah, he... He ate way too much pumpkin pie, so he's he's resting, but his stuff is all packed up and ready it's to go. It's okay, Kendall. He can stay here tonight. Really? Yeah. I mean, his baby brother is home for the first time. He wouldn't want to wake up in the morning and not see him. Plus, I think he could probably use the company. I wouldn't mind it, that's for sure. No word on Zach? No, not yet. But there will be. I, I know it. Wouldn't it be just like Zach to walk right through that door and ask what all the fuss has been about? Peaceful. He's so happy. I think he actually knows that he's home. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is so different for him now. All the sounds and the, the, the lights, colors. It's so hard. Not having Zach here for all of this. The police don't have any new leads at all? No, I'm, I'm still waiting to hear if they found JR's car. Okay, I know that the waiting, you know, probably feels like forever, but you will have answers. I mean, Derek has got guys working overtime on this. You've been so great through all of this. Well, I love you, Kendall, you know that. It didn't seem like love when you confronted me about setting up Greenlee. Well, you tick me off sometimes. I mean, really tick me off sometimes, but... You're the mother of my son. Or family. And... And we're friends. And right now, my friend is going through a really tough time, and... That... Trumps anything that happened with Greenlee. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe that I'm going through all of this hell because of what happened with Greenlee. Don't, Kendall. Don't do this no, again. No, right. It's perfect karma. That's that. That's exactly what it is. I'm being punished for 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 ruining Greenlee's life. It's not karma, and it's not punishment. Okay, you don't even know what happened yet. Like you said, Zach could walk through that door any second. <sighs> what I wouldn't give. You know, I am scared. I'll admit that. But I don't believe for a second he's gone. He may be lost. He, he may even be hurt. But he isn't dead. I know he isn't. He's just having a hard time getting home to us. But he will be. <laughs>